If I told you that this was sort of a normal pancreas, I bet you you'd believe me because you could see asini that look like pancreatic asini. You could see a little bit of connective tissue between labials. You might wonder if there was a little bit more fibrous tissue here than there should be. And you might wonder if there perhaps was a little bit more inflammatory cells. But you would not think that it was cancer. As we back up on this specimen, we could see our uh, instant uh, visualization of normalcy as being uh, quickly uh, fading because you could now see areas at the bottom that don't look like they're lobules at all. They look like they're primarily a lot of fibrous tissue, and they are. Whereas the area on top are normal lobules, the lobules on the bottom have a tremendous amount of sclerosis in them. Uh, and perhaps we could see a remnant of a islet of Langerhans here, and we can. This is a classical islet. So at least we know in the pancreas, we at least we know in the part of the pancreas that has a lot of chronic inflammation and a lot of scarring. Uh, but we're still not too worried about a cancer because the lobules still look like they maintain an overall normal configuration. Well, we've seen this case before, but I love to resurrect nightmares because I think when we saw this before, we called this every pathologist nightmare. Because sometimes when you see these uh, pancreas specimens, or perhaps just a small needle biopsy of these specimens, you could see these little glands out here. Looks like they're surrounded by a lot of sclerotic tissue, and you have to decide whether this is pancreatitis that's involved with a fibrotic reaction or whether these are malignant invasive glands uh, infiltrating into the fibrous tissue. And quite frankly, uh, after looking at this case before and looking at it again, I have an awfully hard time with it. I don't think I could say for sure. And, you know, sometimes you have to say for sure because if a person is standing there with a needle biopsy and you have to decide uh, something that's going to result in half the person's guts being taken out or whether they should just sew them up and tell them everything is okay. This could be like one of the most awesome recurrent nightmares in pathology. Uh, I have been told from the title of this slide that it is an adenocarcinoma. And when I looked at it originally, I found a few areas that I kind of agreed were cancer. But here I am looking at it again and I'm not really sure. And the reason why I'm showing you this case again is because I want to emphasize with you that even though you will meet people that will tell you they can diagnose anything from any size biopsy, there's a lot of variation of opinion and there's a lot of uncertainty even in the tissue itself. And I think that's why I'm showing you this. And as I'm talking about it, I'm looking around again and I'm wondering whether we can find something that looks like a slam dunk obvious cancer area rather than all of these little uh, lobules which appear fibrotic and inflamed. And when we saw this case on Tuesday, I was sure it was cancer. And now I'm looking at it on Friday and I'm pretty sure it isn't. Um, that's pretty scary, isn't it? Thank you very much.